Despite Meghan Markle trying her best to carve a seat in Hollywood through her several acting chops, it seems like James Cameron couldn't be more unimpressed as the director has recently confessed how he would never work with her for his future projects. Ouch. That should have been some revelation for the ex-royalty as a remark coming from someone who has been regarded as one among the best directors of all time. So why wouldn't James Cameron not work with Meghan Markle? Stay with us as we tell you all the deets related to it. Meghan Markle has always been in the public eye as an actress even before she married Prince Harry. An American actress who started her acting career in the early 2000s with several short appearances in movies and TV shows like General Hospital, CSI New York, and Century City. It was her role as Rachel Zane in the popular legal drama series called Suits that gained her much recognition. She had even met Prince Harry when she was in Toronto, Canada filming for Suits through a mutual friend and then went on to get married in 2018 that had made a lot of headlines back then. The Duchess of Sussex had ceased her acting career for a while as she was engaged in the duties as a member of the royal family. However, things didn't seem to work out well for Meghan as she soon left the British royal family in 2020 and was back to what she was passionate about the most, acting. Well, who's a better judge of the acting prowess than the most widely acclaimed director, James Cameron himself? James, who has been known for his fantastic attention to details, so much so that he is also known to be this one huge perfectionist who has to take numerous shots till he gets that one perfect shot just the way he wants. And we're not complaining as we get to see his perfection translated on screen through some brilliant movies he has gifted us in the last few decades. It's only natural that a man with such a keen vision for his movies would only prefer actors that he is sure is equipped to provide them just that. His latest release, Avatar 2 Profits, is the tangible result of the same. In recent news, James Cameron is on cloud 9 as Avatar 2 gets pushed to number 4 among the highest grossing movies in history. That shouldn't make him happy, right? Well, the movie that pushed Avatar 2 down is none other than the re-release of Titanic itself. Looks like it's a win-win for Cameron anyway. Well, amidst the wide success of his release, he was asked, who he would cast if he had an intention to make a movie about royal affection and prohibition prejudice? While Megan seems to believe she could make a mark in Hollywood with her acting capabilities, James Cameron thinks otherwise. As rumored to be amidst private conversation, the reporter had asked Cameron to select among a list of actors who he would choose to play the lead role. The list had Megan too and his reply was rather surprising. According to sources, he shook his head, laughed and replied that she wasn't awful but not great and doesn't seem particularly confident as an actress, but she also doesn't have the best material to work with. Hmm, that seems to be a very disappointing response for an actress trying to make their way in Hollywood. It's always looked like Meghan was always up for fame, whether it be her acting choices, marrying Prince Harry or leaving the royal family behind for a different life, Meghan believes she has it in her to be a pioneer in Hollywood. While well, she's made her attempts in TV shows and movies, it's not like her acting has garnered a lot of praise. While some audiences do appreciate her, Megan seems to have also attracted a lot of criticism for her performances in TV, labeling it as average and nothing extraordinary. While Meghan Marco and Harry desperately try their hand in the showbiz, it doesn't seem like they have a natural knack for it, unlike prominent figures like Cameron who has been in the industry for decades and thus has the eye for the right script and a vision and talent to take Hollywood up ahead. Do you think Harry and Meghan have the talent to survive in the movie business or do you agree with Cameron about Meghan being a terrible actress? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, keep watching our videos as we'll be back with more interesting content soon.